What's going on guys? Joe Snow right here. In today's video we're discussing about the iOS 10.2 jailbreak that was finally released and I'm going to show you how to use it. But keep in mind also the source code is available. So let's move on directly to GitHub. This is Luca Tedesco's GitHub page and he published the Yalu 10.2, incomplete iOS 10.2 jailbreak for 64-bit devices. Now this is available as a source code, as an Xcode project, you need Xcode in order to build it, but somebody decided to make that thing even easier. The security researcher behind this page, also known on Twitter as Spark Seng, also created the IPA, forked the project and created the IPA, which means that you can go ahead and use it on Windows or on a Mac simply by using CDI Impactor. And I'm going to demonstrate that right away. Now, keeping in mind that the source code was released and is available, it means that anybody can now contribute to the files. Well, I think everybody can contribute to the files. I don't know if they are complete. But anyways, as you can see, the device support uh, H and the device support M is available in here. Some people can make modifications to attempt uh, adding more devices if look at the disco doesn't do that. But keep in mind that it's a little bit uh, hard to do that and you can break your device. So do not try to do that yourself. Let that on the uh, security researchers. Now, how you can use this thing? Now, before we start, you need to know that being 10.2 jailbreak, it doesn't work with iPhone 7 or 7 Plus. Those devices are not compatible. You can you can use the Yalu for 10.1.1 though. And um, if you're on iPhone 5S, in 6, I'm afraid it won't work for you. I have an iPhone 6 in here and I tested and unfortunately it's not compatible. I also have an iPhone 5S and an iPod Touch 6th generation and it's not compatible either. So uh, this means that it's compatible with the iPhone SE and the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus and probably iPad Pro for the moment. But we expect more updates to come now that the source code is open and anybody can contribute to it. So how you use it if you have one of the compatible devices or you want to test it out? And is it safer to go to 10.2 by now? No. If you're on iOS 10.1.1, it is still the best firmware. Even though this firmware uh, supports now the uh, Yalu jailbreak and the 10.2 supports the Yalu for 10.2, you should not update to 10.2 if you're on 10.1.1. You are still better there. Uh, now, um, please wait for me to tell you or anybody else to tell you, to anybody else that you trust, to tell you go ahead on 10.2. Because for the moment, it's still not sure that... Um, all the devices will get the support. So it's better to stay there. Now, if you want to jailbreak or if you want to use this one on a compatible device or to try it out, you need to download CDI Impactor. Then after you download it, you, make, you need to make sure you check for updates first because there might be updates. As you can see in my case, they are not, but it's good to check out. Now, I will not be able to jailbreak this device because it's an iPhone 6 and I don't have a 6S for the moment, which means that I'm not able to test it out, but I'm going to show you how you can move it to the phone and from the phone it's easy. You just need to open the application and wait. It will reboot by itself and install Syria. So you need, you need to simply log in into your account. With your iTunes email and password. And if you click OK, it will, of course, it will show you this and it will pre-flight the application directly into the device. Keep in mind the signing will take roughly a minute because the file is big, but for me, as you can see, it's not extremely uh, much as the Mac works fast. And now you should, you should be having the application on your screen. It's called Yalu. 102 and if you open it it will simply uh, show you a uh, interface and it will, sh it will tell you that may slow down your phone let me show you right in a second so as you can see i'm on my iphone 6 right now and i deployed the application it's called yalu 102 and if you want to jailbreak you know you need to simply open the app it will probably show you a dialogue or something and you can see it has a pretty simple straightforward interface it says yalu by qwerty worryops and marco grassi and you have a simple go button then it says on the bottom that for ios 10.0 to 10.1 on iphone 7 so no 10.2 for the moment on it and for all ios 10 
to iOS 10.2 on other 64 bit. Now, don't get confused by that line. Unfortunately, this iPhone 6 and um, iPhone 5S or any other iPhone beyond the uh, 6S and 6, um, 6X, 6S Plus won't work with this version, unfortunately. So if I click in here on the go, it will simply turn the screen black, restart the phone and nothing will happen on my case. That's because the device is not compatible being an iPhone 6. And also I'm running Tempo 1.1 on this device. But I'm going to keep you updated if a new version will be pulled up and if that version will support other devices. But as I said for the moment, by using this method, you're going to be able to jailbreak iPhone SE, iPhone 6, S and iPhone 6s Plus and most likely you will also be able to jailbreak the iPad Pro. So uh, I will keep you updated on any 10.1.1 or 10.2 jailbreak updates on this application and uh, do not forget that you can, if you are the security developer or if you know what you're doing, you can go ahead and download the project and fiddle with it by yourself on your own risk. So yeah, this is basically it guys, do not forget that you can um, comment in the section down below whatever you think about this release and if you like it. Until the next time, peace out.